Kendo Podcast episode 174. In this episode, I want to talk about All US Kendo Federation Seminar. Kendo Podcast by Hiro Imafuji from kendoguy.com. Thank you for listening. This podcast is about Japanese martial arts kendo for kendo lovers and supported by kendo enthusiasts through patreon.com. Thank you for your support, guys. Please visit kendoguy.com for more kendo information and how to support kendoguy.com. Welcome to Kendo Podcast episode 174. Uh, first of all, a uh, lot of people uh, talk to me about uh, how they watch YouTube or listen to podcasts. I really appreciate that. And please, when you see me, uh, please uh, talk to me if you are uh, wa- if you watch uh, if you're a subscriber to the podcast or if you watch my videos. That will help me a lot. Uh, it gives me motivation first, and then if you tell me, uh, you know, if you want to wor- want me to work on something, please let me know. Sometimes I cannot do it. Uh, you know, I need some permission from some people, but. And most of the time, uh, if I can do it, I will do it. So uh, it was very, very nice to uh, meet you guys. And hopefully I'll see you around uh, in the near future. Okay, now all US Kindle Federation seminar, uh, Yamazaki Sensei and Funatsu Sensei. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people know uh, Funatsu Sensei. Uh, I didn't really know about uh, Yamazaki Sensei when uh, until this seminar, but the, of course, I mean he uh, he is also eighth dan. Uh, they're both great, but you know Funatsu Sensei uh, is always in championships and eighth dan championships, and everyone knows about him. I hope so. Uh, you know, that was a great opportunity for me. And one thing that, you know, it's really, really, uh, you know, uh, beneficial uh, thing is that uh, you can see a lot of other people. And for me, uh, I'm from Indiana, right? And I don't really have many. I have uh, one sense in the seventh round sense. In Indianapolis, so he when he has time, he kindly come to uh, uh, the dojo I instruct, and actually we had a good training session last Tuesday, so that was great. And but I don't get to uh, do jigeko or keiko with other sensei much, you know. Seventh thousand. I mean, uh, if you if I drive. Five hours, I can see uh, Takawa Sensei and one seventh dan sensei and a bunch of sixth dan sensei. Uh, but, uh, you know, five hours, you can't really go that a lot, <laughs> go there a lot. But at the seminar, you, is, you can see a lot of other people from everywhere. So that is great benefit, you know. So, and that was, unfortunately, I couldn't do Jigeko with any eighth dan sensei is too many people, you know, so uh, that was unfortunate. But I could do jigeko with other people. That is all, you know, very beneficial for me. So uh, that was great uh, for me, uh, even though I couldn't do jigeko with eighth dan sensei. But uh, all the sensei, uh, uh, everyone was very kind and uh, Funas Sensei and Yamazaki Sensei were very kind, you know, so uh, we had a bit of a chat and we exchanged some, you know, contact information. That was great. Anyway, all right, uh, so All US Kendo Federation uh, Seminar, and I think that is the first time for me to participate. I don't remember. Uh, anyway, so we started I participated from the Saturday, so Saturday and Sunday, and Saturday morning we started from 9.30, and Sunday as well, 9.30, and we started from warm-up, right, warm-up, very long warm-up, and I think we it took us like at least 30 minutes or 45 minutes. If you know me, I don't really remember what happened in the past. I'm sorry. So I don't have a sense of time either. So 
uh, and then we moved. the The warm up was pretty intense too. Uh, we had a, a core exercise as well, which I remember remembered that very vividly because I have sore, you know, I have back problems, so I couldn't do much, and it kind of start hurting my back. So that's why I remember vividly. I don't remember what else we did. We did the stretch as well. And then move on to suburi. We did a lot of suburi, by the way. Uh, and every time I go to these seminars, they spend a lot of time on basics. Simply, that basics is that important in Kindle. So that's why they want to spend a lot of time. Uh, and also probably they think you know, it's necessary for us to do it because we are going to be instructors or we are already instructors. So if we have to uh, pass that on to the next generation, how important those basics are. So I think that's mainly why we emphasize on basics. And Subri, we did a lot of Subri, you know, a lot, a lot of Subri. And then probably, as far as I remember, I don't think we put men on in the morning. We just did warm up and suburi, I think. Maybe we put men on, men on a little bit. I'm not too sure. But anyway, uh, we did a lot of suburi. Okay. And uh, the next one, if you do suburi correctly, nice and big, it will wear you out. Guarantee. If you do you know, with a thing, I mean, if you do it like small and without, you know, the mind, your mind is somewhere, it doesn't do much. But if you, you know, if you put your mind into it and just severely nice and big, uh, you know, you have to snap up your back foot and all, it will make you very, very tired. So severely can be very tiring. So please do. Uh, take it seriously, and we did a lot of kirikashi. In the afternoon, I believe, we did a lot, a lot of kirikashi. Again, how important basics are, right? Kirikashi is the king of the basics. So we do, uh, that's why we do kirikashi to start with in training and end with kirikashi, right? I think most of the dojo do that. So it's kirikaishi. Again, if you do it kirikaishi properly, that will wear you out. Now, I think, was it second day? I don't even remember. We just did a lot of kirikaishi and a lot of basics. Uh, I think only like 45 minutes of jigeko at the very end. You know, uh, both days, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, like I said, I didn't have uh, chance to go to no, it's a long line even if you just go uh, go li line up and then I kind of gave up in the halfway through and then started uh, doing Jigeko with other sensei that's why I did it and then I looked at the person who was behind me he was doing Jigeko with sensei uh, Itadan sensei and I go oh man I missed a chance but I did keiko with some other senses. That's beneficial. I don't get to do jigeko with those senses. So, you know, it's very beneficial. So, even though I couldn't do jigeko with any Aitana sensei, no regrets. You know, but, you know, I, I wish I could do, but I did keiko, so that is great. Now, uh, we did bokuto ki honho, but without bokuto. So we put men on and then do, did the Bokuto Kyohonho movements. Like, again, Kirikaishi was so hard, you know, and what we did was uh, breathing uh, exercise as well while doing Kirikaishi. Uh, you know, we know that. I told my students to do it. And I don't know how many of my students do it, but you, you, if you try really hard, you know, the man, 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 you can do, you try to do, uh, kirikaishi with two breath. Okay. Uh, two breath means, um, when you do man, 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 this is one set. And man, 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 that's second set, right? 
So you do one set with one breath, and second one, one breath, so two breaths. So I think it's very tiring, and if you do it really, you know, correctly, that will wear you out. So I always tell my students, if you are done after Kirikaishi, take a rest. You know, you don't have to save your energy to last one hour or one and a half hours. It's, it's the best if you do everything, uh, every uh, training drills with, one, with your 100%. That's good. But sometimes you need to rest, you know, especially late status. You don't have to do everything uh, with your 50% of your, uh, of your strength, right? Physical endurance. I think you should always, always give 100, 100%. And if you have to take a rest, rest. And if you take a rest, you can keep going, right? So that you have to gradually, gradually make it longer. Otherwise, you never know your limit. All right. So I suggest. If you're a light starter, especially uh, if you're a light starter, uh, just do Kirikaishi with 100% of your physical endurance. That means breathing as well. Yeah, you know, I, I don't think I can do that, but you know, I can do Kirikaishi with two breaths. Uh, but and if I keep doing that, my lungs are gonna cry out because because of my asthma issue. I can feel my you know airstream starts burning, but it's still uh, it's a good challenge. So I recommend to do it. Of course, if you have medical issue, please don't try too hard. You have to talk to your body, right? So that is a reminder for you if you're a light starter. All right, so now, nothing, nothing special, okay? Uh, every time I go to these camps, whatever, you know, wherever, they always talk about basics. It does never get sold, you know. Kirigaishi, uh, suburi, hands above your head. Nice and big, loud, snap at your back foot, etc., etc. Every time, you know, and probably you hear that at your dojo too, you know. If you needed to hear, if you need to hear that from high grade holders, uh, high grade holder senses like Ethan, you should go to one of those uh, uh, seminars and then uh, you probably realize, oh, my sensei says the same thing, you know. So now you have to uh, listen to your sensei and do the right thing. Okay, do it right. And do the right thing and do it correctly so you never go wrong, right? So I think that is a key. How, how can you make it happen? How can you make it uh, correct? How can you keep doing it correctly? And then you apply those basics to your jigeiko. You know, make it smaller and then make it, uh, make all the movements uh, integrated, harmonize them. And then how can you execute your small applied techniques on your opponent? So that is the main issue, right? So work on the basics. I am sure you can do it. Now, I started to uh, do, I uh, started new things, uh, weekly uh, wrap up. Uh, that's at the moment I call it. And I, I tried to uh, answer all the questions and what happened on that week. So please uh, stay tuned. Uh, I have already started at the Patreon uh, slash kindleforlife.com, the members area. And I will start uh, on YouTube as well, because th those are two different things. I upload uh, videos and podcasts way before I make them to the uh, to available to the public uh, at members area. So there, I, ha I have to make two. So one for members, one for YouTube. So please, uh, when you have time, uh, maybe you can watch the wrap up and then go back to. Uh, those videos of the week. 
Okay? Thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the next podcast. I would like to send special thanks to patrons for their constant support through patreons.com slash kindleforlife.